Hey guys, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Django and Apache 2 in a Docker container. Uh, I have created a repo in my GitHub account uh, called Django Apache 2 Docker. So I'm going to copy the URL and clone it. And go to the folder. Now before we start the container, let's look at the content of uh, the repo. So the first one is Docker file. Um, this container is based on Ubuntu base image. It then installs Apache 2 and Apache 2 utils, and then goes on to install Python 3 and mod WSGI for Python 3. It then creates a link, symlink for Python 3 as just Python, so that you can just type Python instead of Python 3 at command line to execute Python scripts. It then installs the Python 3 pip, uh, package manager for Python. And again, it uh, creates a link for pip3 as pip. It then installs uh, Django and ptvst. PTVSD is a debugger server uh, for Python for Visual Studio for Code. It then copies demosite.com from our project folder on the host machine uh, to this location uh, in the container. This is the default uh, Apache uh, site configuration and it, we are going to override that with uh, our own configuration file and we will see the content of that shortly. Uh, it then exposes two ports, 80 and uh, 3500. 80 is where Apache is going to run. And uh, I'm exposing 35 uh, just in case we decide to debug, uh, uh, use the P PTVST uh, server, so which can run on uh, port 3500. It then starts uh, Apache server using Apache 2 CTL minus D uh, foreground. Let's take a look at uh, docker compose.yml. It's a simple file with uh, just one service. Uh, it builds uh, the docker container from the current folder which contains docker file. And the container is named uh, chanko-apache2. It then has uh, port mappings. Uh, the default uh, 80, port 80 is mapped uh, to 8005. So if you want to access this site from outside the container, then you would use 8005 port to access it. Now 3500 is mapped to the same port, and uh, there is an extra mapping for port 81, uh, which maps to 8006. Though in this video, we are not going to use uh, these two ports. We will be using only port 80. It then mounts uh, www folder uh, from the present working directory, which is the project folder and it is mounted as uh, var www.html. Um, so it is going to overwrite uh, this default uh, talk root uh, of Apache 2 with uh, the www folder from the project. Uh, let's take a look at configuration file. So uh, this is uh, mostly the default configuration file that Apache provides, the virtual host uh, configured to run on port 80, uh, with just a couple of additions uh, to make uh, uh, Django run in Apache 2. The first one is uh, WSGI Python path, which points to a demo site in our, uh, uh, in our project folder. Um, so the WSGI is going to look for Python files to execute uh, in this folder. Demo site is the name of the uh, Django uh, application site. Then uh, the doc root is set to um, Django underscore demo underscore app. <coughs> this is again uh, in www root and um, uh, this, this forms the default document root for this virtual host. Then it creates an alias for slash static and maps it to a static folder in a demo site uh, application. 
and then it sets WSGI script alias which is set to WSGI.py file uh, in the demo site. So that's all uh, changes that were done to the default configuration file. Now uh, let's take a look, quick look at uh, the application. So this demo site was created using Django admin uh, start project command. It creates a default project and I just added um, one application to that named app1. Uh, the changes were done to uh, changes were done to the settings file and uh, URLs file. So in the setting in the URLs I have uh, included uh, URLs for app1 that I created and in the settings file uh, I have added the, st the static folder to static files uh, underscore dirs and also added app1 installed apps array. Let's take a look at uh, app1 uh, URLs. So uh, the root URL is mapped to views uh, uh, dash index. So index method in views module and uh, let's look at views.py so this is the index uh, method that is mapped to root URL. Here we create uh, array of employees, just a hard-coded list of employees. And that list is uh, passed for rendering to index.html in app1 folder. Uh, this is under templates folder in app1. So let's go to uh, templates, app1, and index.html. Here. Uh, uh, app1.css is included from static folder and uh, then it iterates through employees uh, which was passed from uh, views.index uh, method, uh, iterates over it and uh, prints first name and last name of, of all employees. So it's a pretty simple app. So now let's run the, uh, let's start the container first. So I'm going to do docker compass up. So if you are running this command for the first time, it is going to download all the dependencies, uh, dependent images, packages, install packages. But since I had run this command before, all the dependencies were resolved and the installation was uh, pretty quick. But there is an error at the end and that is because the folder that we had mounted in Docker Compose, which is p, uh, which is www in our project folder, uh, is not shared with uh, Docker. So to do that, go to Docker Preferences and go to File Sharing tab and add the project folder. And restart Docker. For that the container is running, I'm going to open a new tab and Docker PS. And we'll see that our Django Apache 2 container is running. Now let's uh, run the application. So I'm going to go to localhost. And remember the port 80 in the container is mapped to 8005. So there is our little application listing employees. Now if you want to change uh, the site or add a new site, uh, replacing this site, you can do that easily. So I'm going to open a bash shell in the container using docker exec minus it and name of the container which is Django Apache 2 bash and let's go to the document root var www.html and Chango app and here I'm going to create a new uh, Chango site. So I'll run Django admin start project and let's call this project my site. The site is created. Let's check that in visual code. So you see the site is created here. And um, 
to link this site to Apache, we need to change the configuration. So let's go to demosite.com and change reference to demo site with my site. That's one here. Uh, talk route is not going to change. Let's uh, not. We are not going to use any static files. So I'm just going to comment this. And uh, the path of WSGI is going to change. So it is going to be my site, my site again, and then WSGI.py. So we need to change names here. Let's save this file. And uh, let's go to the terminal. Uh, we need to restart uh, the container and and um, we also need to rebuild the image, uh, Docker image. So I'm going to exit from this bash shell. I'm going to stop the container by command C. And uh, just to make sure that the, the container is has stopped, let's see Docker PS and it's not listing any container. Now I'm going to build the docker image again so i'm going to do docker compose so every time you change the configuration make sure you rebuild the image so docker compose build so that's recreated the image and now let's run docker compose up So now the site associated uh, is changed. It is now pointing to my site. Let's verify that. And this is the default Django, new Django application page. So that's it for now. I hope you found this video useful and see you next time. Thank you.